AI was determined to leave my parents' house with you at a young age, at 17 years old, and a baby at 2 years old was when my father hit me badly and was kicked to the ground, kicking me and kicking me and punching me like if I was an enemy. My parents told me I had to leave my job and that's when they also told me I wouldn't be able to talk to no one, be all the time in the house, go to the store with them. I wasn't going to have a no life, only be at home taking care of my baby. That's when I said, this is this abuse man needs to stop. I'm not a bad person, especially a mom. You as my son was and still my world to me. I was afraid, scared, but I asked a friend if I could stay with her. But she said no, because my parents, that if they did accept me, they would send up the police to them. I had no place to go. I was so scared. I was like, with my son, where am I going to go? Who am I going to go with? All my friends had their parents. I couldn't go to their house. I was so scared that something could have happened to us. All the doors were I had to stay with you in a church outside with a blanket. The next day, one of my friends told me, he will help me find a place. Till we find a place, I stay in his car with you in the call. So one of his friends, best friends told him I could stay with her in the city. We lived there for about two or three months, had a job, but life was so fast, so different than what we were used to. I had to leave you with her. But I was afraid because I didn't know her that well. I felt uncomfortable because she wasn't my friend. She was my friend's friend. Even though she was really nice, I told my friend I had to leave and go to a shelter. Because also my parents were looking for me. And I knew that in a shelter I would be safe with my son. So I did. I went to a shelter by Pleasantville, which I met my two good friends and the people in the shelter helped me with core have a small education because my parents wanted to take you away from me take all the custody which i was afraid but they told me that i would be okay i had my job as an evidence when all the problems happened and yes the management in there were supporting me they, they said if you ever need a job, if you ever need proof that I can go back to them. Give me my back, my job back if I decided to, go, you know, come back to North Shell and work for them. My parents involved your father so he will fight and take you away from me. So I was okay and didn't and did the choice of staying in a shelter. I didn't have to work in the shelter because we had everything. And all they wanted for us is to have an education for all the women's shelter was Yonkers. The place was dirty. I, uh, we even got allergies in there. I think we got really, really, that's when allergies started happening because it was an, a, a pretty place to live. It was scary. People in there who live in that shelter, they weren't friendly. And so something in my heart told me, can't stay. We will go out and police ready to shoot, which it was scary, that part too. I didn't like it. It was the worst neighborhood. I guess my friends I met, we all had our worst. Some family had abusement, some had partners abusement. Those are the people that live in the shelter. All of those people have different reasons why they're in a shelter. Some people lose their house. Some people just don't get along with their partner. Or something like me, my family, my parents. So they have to run away. 
I don't regret leaving my family because it made me stronger, a better person more than I was, positive. And yes, I could do it by myself at a young age, which is also proof that I was able to do it by myself at a young age with a toddler. I put that I wasn't on drugs. All of those lies in court. I want the custody. And they stop abusing me. Or threatening me. 